Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews and today I've got another Christmas beer for you and it's actually a Christmas Jumper Friday today. So I'm rocking my Christmas Jumper, gotta love a Christmas Jumper, to be any excuse it's cold today so I've got it on anyway. But yeah, um, this beer is from Saddlers and it's another one from their Peaky Blinder range and this one is a bottle of their Christmas Pudding Stout. Coming in at 6% ABV, artwork there, matey with his flat cap, bottle of beer, Christmas pud under his arm there. Very nice, traditional looking beer. There is the Saddler's bottle cap. Focus, there we go. Yeah, so 6% Christmas pudding stout. It says it's a smooth, rich, dark ale brewed with the finest British malt, hops and Christmas pudding ingredients. Um, ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, yeast, lactose, nutmeg, cinnamon, candied peel. That sound nice, this one. Um, says it's black on the eye. It says it should smell of uh, cocoa, roasted malts with a nutty aroma. And I should taste subtle spice, sultanas, and a rich sweetness and a smoothness to it as well. Um, yeah, sounds good. 6% ABV Christmas pudding stout. Sounds just what I would want at this time of year. Had a couple of beers from Witchwood. They're annual Christmas beers. And this one is a stout. So it's going to be a bit darker. Going to be a bit richer in, in flavour, I would imagine. And with those sort of Christmas spice ingredients added as well. It should be quite nice. So let's leave the bottle there so we can all see the artwork on this one. Saddler's Peaky Blinder Christmas Pudding Stout. There she is. Really dark, as you'd expect. In this light, it looks really, really dark. There is, maybe you see a slight bit of red bleeding through at the bottom of the glass there. Um, but yeah, that that's a really dark beer with a, a good sort of one. Solid one finger. Tan head on it. Looks nice. Looks nice. Say so there is a slight bit of blood, uh, red bleeding through the uh, the bottom of the glass there. I'm glad there's not blood in it. That'd be a bit worrying, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's get an aroma on this Christmas pudding stout. Yep, you're certainly getting the coffee. You're certainly getting the cocoa aromas, roasted malts, traditional stout aroma to this one. Slight bit of spice coming through. Slight spicy note to the aroma, but yeah, slight spice, roasted malts, coffee, cocoa, traditional stout aromas. Let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. Ooh. There's a lot going on with that. There's a spiciness. There's the roasted malts are coming through. There's a, a fruitcake sweetness to it. There's coffee notes there. There's a slight dark chocolate note to it as well. Slight bit of bitterness in the back end as well. As roasted malts really carry through. Says it's got first gold and Goldings hops in it. Pale grain, caramel, crystal, chocolate malts, roasted barley, oats. There's a lot going on with this. It's got quite a boozy kick at the back end as well. Um, I picked this up in B and M. I think I paid a pound fifty for it. Um, and tell you what, getting value for money with that. There's a lot going on in this beer. There really is. Really complex flavour. It's very rich. Um, quite a, a thin, light body on it. Quite thin in the mouthfeel. Um, but it's, it's quite a good carbonation level to this one. There is a gentle fizz throughout this one. 
it is very smooth, but that carbonation does help throw the different flavours around it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a. As it sits in the glass, as it develops, you are getting a bit more of the sweetness coming through. It did say there was candied peel in the ingredients on the bottle. And you're kind of getting that. There is a sweet, a sweet candy aroma that is starting to come through. Roasted malts. Milk chocolate on the flavour. A little bit of coffee, but not overly bitter coffee. There's that fruit cake, rich fruit cake. Sultanas, raisins. Oh, it's, the more I drink it, the more I like it. I'm not really picking up the the, the spice. This said there was a nutmeg in it, didn't it? Nutmeg. Not really getting nutmeg. There is a very subtle, subtle cinnamon flavour to it. It says there's cinnamon in the ingredients, but it kind of blink and you miss it. But it is there. There, there is a subtle spiciness to it. Definitely more cinnamon than nutmeg on this one, but there's so much going on with it. It really is a complex flavour. And it really is nice. It has a really nice bitterness at the back end. Not overly bitter, not not you know, but it the hops do a good job with that, and that kind of roasted malt coffee effect it, it it's smooth, it's light all the way through, but there, there's so much going on with the flavor you're getting that chocolate, you're getting the coffee, you're getting that fruit cake, you're getting that slight cinnamon spice to it as well. That kind of candy aroma doesn't really follow through on the flavour. It's not it's not overly sweet. There's a lovely balance to this beer. Um, it really does balance itself out really, really well. It balances the sweetness and the the, the roasted malt flavour of it and the nice bitterness as well at the back end. It is a beautifully balanced out. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is really good. It's not always my my go-to style, um, but when you put Christmas on something, I'm I'm always going to try it. Um, but this is a really complex and really quite rewarding stout. There's a lot going on with this. This is one you could you could uh, look after for a while. You could have this sat in your glass for a while, and I think every time you taste it, there'd be a different flavour that would come to the front of the palate that your brain would register quicker than the others there's a lot going on and it feels like it's developing mm. yeah every mouthful i get the more i'm enjoying it it's a smooth i don't want to say creamy but it has a very velvety texture around the tongue it kind of caresses your mouth you know it, it really just kind of wraps itself around your palate lots of chocolate lots of coffee lots of fruit cake there's a spiciness from the cinnamon there it's a lovely style it's not probably the most um christmasy beer i've ever had but that touch of spice is there and it does give it a nice characteristic that goes with the fruit and the coffee and the chocolate really nicely. That's a very enjoyable stout, that. That'd be a nice after-dinner beer, I reckon, uh, in this on this Christmas season. Um, well worth a go, this. Really do enjoy it. One more. Mm. Lovely mouthfeel. Really nice gentle carbonation that just kind of flicks all the flavours around the palate. Lovely malt, uh, you know, content to this one. Really chocolatey. Nice coffee, nice roasted malt, nice use of the, the winter spice in there. Not really picking up the nutmeg, but certainly getting the cinnamon. And a nice hoppy, bitter finish to it as well at the back end. That's a lovely, well-rounded, beautifully balanced out. I'm really enjoying that. Excuse me. Um... Yeah, that's that's really nice. So I'm going to go out and buy a couple of more of them. I've, I've really enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah, Saddlers with their Peaky Blinder Christmas Pudding Stout. I found this one in B&M. 
Um, yeah, go out and find that. That's really, really worth it. Um, I'll give it a score for what it's worth. I'm going to give that a solid 8.5 out of 10. I've really enjoyed that. I would happily drink a couple of those. Lovely stout from Saddlers. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, guys. And uh, until my next one, you take care.